Hi, I'm Siri Dean with McCrell. I'm one of the authors of the second edition of Classroom Instruction That Works. We've all used or heard the expression, all students can learn. But that isn't likely unless there is high quality instruction in every classroom every day. What does high quality instruction look like? Classroom Instruction That Works answers this question by summarizing the research on instruction over the last 40 years and presents that research in ways that help teachers know what strategies to use and how, when, and why to use them. These strategies help students develop confidence in their ability to learn challenging content and access and build on their prior knowledge. These strategies also help students interact with knowledge on deep levels, store knowledge and memory in multiple ways, and use complex reasoning processes to make knowledge meaningful and memorable. When teachers use these strategies intentionally and with quality and fidelity to create the environment for learning, to help students develop understanding, and to help students extend and apply their knowledge, these strategies are powerful tools for teaching and learning. Now, let's hear more about one of these effective strategies. Hi, this is Howard Pittler with McCrell, one of the authors of Classroom Instruction That Works Second Edition. Today I've got a tip for you on the category of reinforcing effort and providing recognition. These two strategies working together are really important in helping kids see the strong connection between the hard work that they're putting in and their achievement towards a learning objective. It's really important, first of all, for kids to clearly know what they're supposed to be learning and demonstrating. That's part of setting objectives. Once that's done, it's about reinforcing their hard work into that learning. One of the misconceptions is just telling kids to work harder is enough to help them apply good effort in their learning. The reality is Telling kids you're not working hard enough, you need to apply yourself, really doesn't give them a clue on what specifically they need to do to put in the type of effort they're going to need to be successful. What we recommend in Classroom Instruction That Works Second Edition is to clearly define what effort means. Build a rubric for effort. In my class, when we're talking about this particular learning activity, I define effort as this, this, and this. And there's a one, two, three, and four on the rubric. So instead of telling kids, you need to work harder, you're just not applying yourself, we can say, look at the rubric. Rate yourself on the rubric. Where do you see yourself right now in attitude, in perception? And look at that rubric. What do you need to do to apply yourself more, to put in more effort? The next thing we want to do is once we clearly define what effort means, is to let them see how effort impacts achievement. It can be as simple as having kids take their own work and chart their achievement on one axis of a matrix and then chart their effort based on the rubric on the other matrix. That way they can see that their effort definitely moves into increased student achievement. As we're talking about the importance of effort, remember clearly define what effort means and help kids see the relationship between hard work and their achievement. And that's your tip for today on reinforcing effort.